we've come a long way. From a lump of burning rock and dust to a blue-green planet bursting with life. There are still no humans, but there are fish, plants, and this. It's a dragonfly, a dragonfly the size of an eagle. This giant is called Meganeura. What were once legs have evolved into wings, extending the dragonfly's hunting territory over a vast area. There are millipedes, spiders, all sorts of bugs down there. These creatures, called arthropods, were among the very first to set foot on land. They've already been around for hundreds of millions of years. They look almost identical to the bugs that invade our homes today. Except for one big difference. Like Meganeura, they're monsters. We've stumbled into a lost world of giants, where millipedes are nearly two meters long and scorpions the size of wolves. All the oxygen in the atmosphere allows their respiratory systems to be more efficient and frees up space for their bodies to grow. A lizard-like creature called Hylonymus. The creatures we've seen so far laid their eggs in the water. But these eggs contain all the water and nutrients the developing Hylonymus needs. The babies are growing in their own self-contained pond. The egg is a major evolutionary breakthrough. Now animals can leave the water behind and conquer the land. This baby Hylonymus will lead the advance. It's a new kind of creature, a reptile. 